Last three, it's BBC Radio Northampton, the John Griff programme with you. Now, if you are a regular uh, to our programme, you might know that over the last uh, two or three years, on occasions we've had people in who claim that they can uh, go and find ghosts. And at this point, you'd expect me to play the Ghostbusters theme, wouldn't you? Well, I've done that before, so we'll, we'll just crack straight on with this instead. In the studio with me, I have two gentlemen who know that they can find the spirits because they say they've already gone and done it. Now, there are a number of groups in the county uh, that we've had in on the programme. Indeed, we went and did a, a full programme uh, out uh, towards the east of the county when we were over um, right on the edge of the county and supposedly we found Mary, Queen of Scots. I didn't see anything, but I'm told that she was standing right in front of me by those people that were sensitive to those sorts of things. These guys are, as much as anything else, scientists. And they are Andy Britton and Michael Spooky Mickey York. And I can say Spooky Mickey because it says it on his polo show. <laughs> Gentlemen, good afternoon. From Northampton Spirit Seekers. Now, yep. Spirit Seekers as an organisation, it's fairly new to the county. Yep, we're probably about six months old. Started with just some friends. Yep, group and just getting bigger. Yep. Good Facebook following and... Our own website. website. So, is this something that grew out of each of you being individual? I, I hesitate to say ghost busting fans, but th that's the easiest way, I suppose, of, of describing you generically. Is that how it started? Like minded individuals? Yeah, I suppose it's a common interest, really. Yeah. Are there lots of people in, in the country and in just, the county that do this? Just in this county? Yeah. Uh, There's a few teams that I know of, but if you actually go like nationwide, you're looking bigger, go even to America. Yeah. Amer America's very big for this. If it's so big, if there are so many people that are going and chose, uh, uh, chasing spirits and, 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 and people who use technology, and we'll come on to technology in a minute because I know you guys do, how come nobody has ever come up with absolutely stonking, concrete evidence of the afterlife and spirits? Because if you can't find it, how can you get people to believe in it? That's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find evidence of the paranormal. Mm. Other people say they found it, yeah. but whether you believe it, it's another, another question, isn't it? I mean, you can take hundreds and hundreds of pictures and everyone interprets each picture differently. You can say, oh, that's, that's a spirit there, and everyone else say, oh, that's some mist or... You know, well, exactly. Bright, anything like that. If I go and take a photograph of you, I can walk up to you and I can touch you. And I can say, there's a picture and that's Spooky Mickey and I've taken a picture of him and, and there's the evidence of it. Yeah. Yeah. If you take a picture and you say, that's a spirit, neither of us can go up to whatever it was that you took and say, oh, yep, there you go, that's Casper the ghost or, 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 or <laughs> no. whatever it might be. That's just not going to happen. No. And I suppose even though you may say that you've got evidence, people will, in the first instance, try to shoot it down. Mm. And you've also got this belief culture. People have got to believe in what you are telling them yeah. as being gospel truth, haven't, uh, haven't you? Haven't, haven't, don't you come up with, against that all the while? Well, you come yeah. up with two sides, don't you, I suppose? Yeah. You get the people that do believe and the people that don't believe. That's mm. all there is. So the doubting Thomases in that but, Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not like you're trying to convince the non-believers. Sometimes no. probably trying to convince ourselves sometimes in some of the places we go. Well, th th that, was, that was something else I was going to ask you. If, if you can't find this evidence, don't you get downhearted? Don't you, don't you think, I've spent all this money on all this kit, <laughs> and I've spent all this time and I've got nothing to show for it, I'm going off down the pub. Don't you ever get those, those, those no, days? There's, there's always a next investigation, the next place to go to. Yeah. There's a western you can find something there. How close have you got to finding something? Because I, I'm told that already as a group you reckon you did find something. Yeah, it's probably we the have, closest yeah. we've been, isn't it? Yeah. Tell me the story. Uh, are we allowed to name places? So. Well, give, give, give me an area at least. Okay. Okay, then. Well, um, Delapree. Oh, yeah, down, down, down Delapree Way. Yeah, down okay. that way. Yeah. yeah. Um, very historic place. Very historic yeah. place, very. Lots of... You, you could Lots imagine history, spirits yeah. down in that part of the world. Yeah. yeah. What did you find? Uh, well, picked up two dogs... Yeah. Dogs? Dogs. Yeah, dogs. Ghost dogs. <laughs> but then we actually found out afterwards that they were actually, behind the actual place, there is a ghost dog cemetery, sorry. Right, OK, fine. So, uh, hang on, how do you track a dog ghost in that case? What I mean, do you mean, how do you track? This oh, is the same have dog biscuits. Well, how, do you, how do you find... I mean, n number one, how did you find empath. a spirit? And number two, how did you realise it was a dog, not a human being? Empath. Empath. Yeah. What's an empath? Empath. Somebody that actually picks up... Feelings, feelings emotions. emotions. Of spirits. Right, now... So technically looking... Well, the other word is um, clair... Clairvoyant. Clairvoyant. Yep. So somebody walks along and says, I can sense something, and it's... Yeah. A Doberman. Yeah. Or it's and they get, they get information 
Give them to him. Yeah. And also, apparently, we found, well, we didn't actually look into it, but it was uh, meant to be Be uh, Mary Bouvery, Mm. who was the lady that actually Mm. used to live in one part of it, but then moved to the other part years later. So this is this is a story, or this was again something that your no, empath we actually picked that up. We picked we picked her up, but it was actually you might sit there saying, "Oh, yes, you've not been <laughs> told," but me and her didn't actually go in. You actually went for the walk round first, didn't you? Yeah, they, when, when we go on investigations, Andy and uh, our empath Penny, she, they don't get told any history of the place. Right. So. But then you might say we try and research it, but we don't. We don't. Well, yes. That's where it comes to, that's where you've got to be honest with it. People are going to say, okay, well... Honesty is probably the best thing with this. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, you say you haven't told your empath about this, but if you've got well-known characters, and well-known characters that that used to inhabit a certain area, it's it's not unreasonable to expect that if that person is fairly high-profile anyway somebody could say, oh, yeah, well, I happen to know that they're down in the Delapree area or I happen <laughs> to know that they're in the Althorpe area or whoever it might be. Yeah. Oh, I can sense something, and, and you can't prove it either way. Well, she didn't even know the place existed. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> she didn't even know the place. She didn't even know it was there. We also, she we also not... go to some places that aren't well known that mm-hmm. just have a small like history of like maybe one ghost yeah. sight in there, just one. Do you sense ghosts or do you measure them with with equipment and technology, we use equipment as well as both. Yeah, I mean, but you can't right. you can't go and buy a ghost busting machine off the shelf. Yes, you can. Get away. Okay, honestly, you can go and buy a ghost. Uh, yep. Right. So I I, I I could go down to an electronic store. Like I can go and buy a metal detector, and I can then go and say, right, I'll have a ghost busting machine. Please. Well, you wouldn't ask for a ghost busting machine. After <laughs> I know what you're looking for. What What do you have to find then? An EMF meter. What's it, What's EMF? Electromagnetic field. Oh, that really? takes me back to the days of the fourth form of my physics. physics. Yeah, you guys <laughs> probably made one at school. Really? <laughs> so you can actually make them yourself. There is ways of doing it. So you're looking for magnetic displacement. Yeah, yeah. That's what the thing. Measures. The spirit is supposed to give off an electric. Ele- uh, oh, well, electric energy. Yeah. So or any sort uh, of energies. So <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just, now, you? <laughs> you probably understand I'm coming to this from a fairly cynical perspective, but mm. the idea that you can go measure something and yet nobody has yet got concrete evidence of something that is from the afterlife. That's the difficulty, isn't it? Well, maybe you, some you people could, have. You can measure magnetic fields, yeah. and you can measure electrical fields, but who's to say that that's from the afterworld? That's the definition, isn't it? Yeah, it depends where you are, though. If you're in a field, you, you shouldn't really... Well, you shouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't be getting any electromagnetic in a field, would you? Well, I don't know. It depends on what's buried down there. True. But that's when you come to start doing your base checks. Yeah. So you're doing this on a very scientific basis yeah so well, do you survey areas before you before you or, or to go with your the, the, we, the, we do th- the like baseline tests before an actual investigation like temperature uh electromagnetic field yeah. things just, like that just to just to give you like a baseline yeah. of where you work so when so. we do actually do the investigation if it is different we can say right we know that because we've already done tests before we've gone in so it's the credibility in that case of the research work yeah. that then goes with the measurements yep yeah that if you like, filter out the rubbish and actually give you something yeah. that is that, that is a clearer picture from your perspective. Yeah. Have either of you uh, been part of uh, other groups, or, or, or I mean, literally, you started this off from scratch? Well, started from scratch. Yeah, we have. I've it's, been looking yeah. probably for. Well, I started like the website and everything in two thousand and seven, mm-hmm. but trying to find the right people for the actual. So was, was was there a particular trigger that got you into all of this in the first place? As in. What we've seen. Well, did you did you see a ghost or yeah. did, did, you, know, you, you yeah. saw a ghost and thought, oh, hang on, there's something in this? Yeah. I've seen my grandfather at the end of my bed when I was about 15, 16. Really? Yeah. And that stayed with you ever since? Yeah. What I was did... into probably different things before that. I've always been into stuff like vampires and <laughs> anything like that. Super Buffy the Phantom, the, 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 phant- the, the uh, uh, vampires. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, probably more like the history of it. Mm hmm. Because that's what part of our thing is a history as well, isn't it? Really? Yeah. If you like an think added it's bonus. not just it's the added bonus of having it. You do actually get a history lesson while you're doing it. <laughs> and what's the ultimate aim of the Northampton Spirit Seekers as a group? Do you just want to find evidence? Uh, do you want to find the camaraderie of being like-minded and going I- in search of things? Do you want to find things that nobody has found before? Because again, the, the, the county is rife with all sorts of stories of things that have yeah. happened, but yeah. again, nobody's ever been able to prove anything. No. But then we're probably one of the quietest counties. If you go to some counties, go like Derbyshire and stuff like that, they're York, just York. York. Yeah. They're just they're mad massive. for it. There's loads of places. Really? Yeah. yeah. Every street, there's a new every location. Street. Yep. 
So, the, so the, the challenge in that case is to find <coughs> something here in Northamptonshire. Northamptonshire yeah. is a big one. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What you mean? You, you mean big as in un untapped, untapped stories? Yeah, definitely. I think so. Yeah. I just want to prove Northampton's yeah. more haunted than it's down on paper. Right. Well, the Delapree Abbey we know has got yeah. ghost dogs because these guys have measured it. Where for you is a good target? And equally, how do people? Uh, how do people get started? Because I suppose if you're em empathetic, if you are empathic, if you're an empath, <laughs> yeah. it's only something that you'll know and find out by personal experience. You can't learn to be an empath, no, can you? No, I think it just comes naturally. Yeah, I think there's a natural thing with it. Yeah. I think everybody's a little bit... Everybody's got something. I think people put things down to, oh, that's not happening. They try, they try and get a sceptical view of everything. Yeah, so you've seen a light flicker, haven't you? But you might just put that down, oh, there's something wrong with the electric. Some, some people will think, oh, that's a ghost doing it. I'm fascinated. And we need to prove that that is yes or a no. So I'm, I'm fascinated because there are stories about people having lost their lives in this building yeah. in, in way, way, way back uh, in, in previous times. We did a little bit of an experiment just to go and see if we could find something. And at the time, it was a bit of a laugh. But there were people who were saying, no, 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 there are den genuine ghosts in this part of the world. And we, we don't want to put the, the fear of, what, so what, <laughs> no. of anything into anybody. But at the same time, these stories exist. You've got energy because you're a living, breathing yeah. individual. So yeah. am I. What does that happen to? To that what happens to that energy if energy is something that is simply redeployed into other areas so exactly. there, are, there are different ways of looking at it yeah. when do you get together and if people are interested in becoming part of Northampton Spirit Seekers are they able to do so well at the moment we kind of like keep like a small team we're, we're like a closed, uh, closed group at the moment so how do people find out more about your exploits uh, on our website on our website which is www.northamptonspiritseekers.co.uk just like it says on the tin. Just like yeah. it says on the tin. And the back of me T-shirt as well. <laughs> <laughs> and how often do you get out and about? Uh, maybe two or three weekends a month. We have a couple of meetings during the month as well. And you don't look like the Ghostbusters when you go out, even <laughs> no. though you've got, got, got all the technology and all the rest no, of it. No, just a backpack full of food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good, good call. <laughs> how much have you spent on equipment to do this? Uh, a lot of things like uh, digital cameras. Most people own them anyway, camcorders. But when you're looking at things, when you're getting like, like voice recorders, voice recorders, SLR cameras, you're looking at anything up to over a thousand pounds. So there's a bit of an investment to go with it. Oh, yeah, yeah but and a I'll, belief structure too. Yeah, yeah. But I believe one of the biggest pieces of equipment is yourself, anyway. Yeah, because you can all sense things. These are spooky yeah. guys, <laughs> but <laughs> but I'm quite prepared to believe that they will have the measurements because, as they said, they do the surveys, they go about it in the right way. If you'd like to find out more, at the moment they are a closed group, but there's no reason why you can't find out what they've been up to, read their reports, find out their exploits, and see where they've been most recently. Andy Britton and Michael York, both part of Northampton Spirit Seekers, and that basically is their website, www.northamptonspiritseekers.co.uk. Guys, lovely to have you in. Yeah, Good you. luck. Once you've got some evidence, <laughs> come back and tell us about it, okay. won't you? No problem. Okay. Yep, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. North Ants Travel, BBC Radio Northampton. Well, starting with the trains and all East Midlands train services at the moment at a stand. It's because of an incident going on at Bedford at the moment. They've also got sort of problems on London at Midland and Virgin train services. Delays of 20 minutes heading towards London between Rugby and Milton Keynes 